we were taking finals and I got checked out. So I got home about an hour ago, two hours ago. And yeah, so guys, guess what? I finished my bread box and it was amazing. I'm gonna miss those guys like a lot. Like they were my life. <laughs> This semester, they were my life. They were the stories I told every single day to my mom and dad. They were everything. I especially miss the teacher because he was pretty cool. Nick, I'm gonna miss you. You were bae. Even I'm gonna miss you because, yeah, I won't get to see you anymore. So, yeah. So, yeah. Here is my bread box. Finally finished. Ugh, so It's whatever. It's made out of maple wood. This really isn't that dark. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. All the dark spots on here are not that dark in person. But. And then here's this. That is a burn mark which I did not sand out. Which sucks because I could have done so much better. But it's really not that dark. And then here's the bread box itself. And it's not that big, considering it can't even fit a loaf of bread, barely. Yeah, see, it can barely fit a loaf of bread. But it's pretty nice. It's made out of maple wood, and yeah. It does have a lot of problems, but that is a false back. Today was the last day that we were in there, and yeah. It's done, it's finished, it's, it's over with. I'm gonna miss that class, really, honestly. Do you guys like it? I like it. It's like gigantic, guys. Yeah, so that was my bread box. It took me two months to build it. Actually, more than that. But Some days I didn't get stuff done, and then other days I got a lot of stuff done. But, yeah. It actually took me like three months. And it took about three months, but it probably would take someone about, like, maybe not even two weeks if they were working on it for a few hours a day because we only got like 55 minutes a day and there's like 20 students in that class so like about 10 of them didn't even do anything so yeah Guys, so we just went Christmas shopping for my brother and my sister and Ginger the hamster. First we'll start off with Ginger. I got her two things and my mom got her one thing. So let's check it out. Eddie's really interested, as you can tell. But I got her another cookie. Remember the ladybug cookie? This is just like it. And yeah. Eddie likes it. Whenever I clean her cage, she spills it. And I got her these, like, donut things. Eddie also likes them. But, yeah, they're just, like, donuts. And so, yeah. And then my mom got her these. These holiday puffs. So, yeah. Hopefully she likes them. It wasn't that expensive, so that's good. There's only the most it costs would be probably like five or six dollars. So yeah. 
let's move on to our next subject, shall we? I'm gonna have to speak in a lower voice because they're like down the hall. Okay. For my brother, I got him this speaker thing. So, hopefully he likes it. It's a Vivitar Voltage Voltage Wireless Speaker. So, hopefully he likes that. <coughs> For my sister, I got her headphones, speak, uh, whatever they're called, because she keeps on using mine. There's like three different sizes. They're small and large and then medium. So yeah, that's what I got her. And I got her a Target gift card that has $10 on it. And yeah. So she can get so she can make get the makeup she wants because I don't know what she wants. I still have to get, I still have to get my brother a gift card or something. So yeah. Where's my luck? And I'm almost finished with this hat, guys. It is pink and white. You can't really tell, but yeah. So I'm almost finished with that. Hey guys, so I'm working on cleaning my room and rearranging it. And if you can tell behind me, that's why it's messy. But yeah, <laughs> I made this hat, guys. And yeah, so here's Eddie. So tired. But yeah, I have all this crap on my bed. And a few years later, I'm sitting here editing a video on my computer. Yeah, so my desk is, um, tore down. It's right here. It's took down because I'm going to move my bed. So yeah, so peace out, guys. This whole b b bucket came from my desk. <laughs> but, yeah, so I had to clean that off. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, I have to vacuum it if you can't tell. It is kind of dark, but, yeah, so, have to vacuum it. Yep. So, and there's the curtains. More crap. Then there's Ginger sleeping with her stuff. I also need to clean my dresser off. There's then more stuff. I cleaned this up yesterday. Can't tell anyone because it's all blocked. There's my sewing machine trash. Getting rid of those clothes. Then there's Caden. And there's those gifts. And yeah. Just leads us back over here. But yeah, so that's another ghetto room tour. <laughs> and yeah. So. Wish me luck. I'm gonna probably end up moving my bed after Christmas because my dad won't help me right now because he's got other stuff to do so yeah here's what I hope for it to look like there's the walk-in door the door where you walk in Hey, lay down, buddy. Here, door. <laughs> and yeah, so my bed is gonna be up against that window right there. Stop it. Then that table. And then that table, that white table with sewing machine and computer on it. It's gonna be on that wall right here. And then my dresser is gonna be. I'm hoping for my dresser to hopefully go right there, in that area, so, in case you couldn't see it in the video. But, and then I think the bookcase is 
going to go right there. It's from Ikea, too, so. Yeah. So I'll get a room tour up as soon as I'm finished with that and finish with hanging up everything because I have to hang this picture, that, and that. And yeah, so. Come here, Eddie. Oh, but yeah, so peace out, guys. Love you.